Dice Paper Roll is recorded on the lands of the Jagera and Turrbal people and the Bunurong and Wandri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Hello, happy holidays. It is December and we are here back on our channel, back doing our shit. How are you, Ben? You, I'm very good in the festive spirit. And we're in, the, we're in the room together as well recording this, which is unusual for the pod over yes. COVID years. Yes, very much so, but that is probably also because we live together. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Um, now we are doing a little character creation episode for a brand new campaign, which we'll be recording and releasing next year. It is the Wild Beyond the Witchlight, and it's uh, like a Fey campaign, isn't it? Yeah, it's a venture into the Fey Wild. It's written by Wizards of the Coast. Um, of course, fucked up by us in our traditional style. Yes, one hundred percent. So this is a, a bit of a casual kind of ease into who we're thinking of playing. Just a bit of a, a chat. A little- about- peek behind the curtains to see what it is we do and how we do it, uh, how how we come up with our silly ideas. We've got some good stuff in here. Um, I love all the characters that everyone's come up with. I think it's going to make for a really killer campaign. Yep, I think it'll be fun. So sit back and relax and enjoy that. But before we get to to that actual episode, we do have some exciting news about 2022. (laughs) Drum roll. That was a drum roll, by the way. A lip (laughs) trill drum roll. It was very good. Thank you. I am the guy who does the music for the show. Yeah, yeah. just not the sound effects. No. (laughs) Um, But yes, we will be appearing at Comedy Republic on February the 5th in Melbourne. And uh, not long after that, we've got a bunch of shows in the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Yeah, it'll be a live D&D extravaganza. We're going to have guest comedians come up and play with us. We're going to have, you know, two hour kind of shows where we, we, we... do little one-shot adventures, sometimes using old characters, sometimes using new characters. Um, No real theme, just D&D live, rolling dice and having lols. Yep, yep, absolutely. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, What what about about book three, though? Book three is in the works. We just got to find a way to get us all together. Border closures are making it difficult. And it is uh, is happening next year, just finding the time where um, (laughs) we got the window of opportunity to not be locked out of our home states, uh, respectively. Yeah. One hundred percent. So, uh, plenty to look forward to. Make sure you keep your eyes on our socials and the website www.dicepaperroll.com and uh, enjoy the character creation app. Happy holidays! We'll see you in the new year. Bye. Hello. Um, you might be thinking this is a mistake, and it is. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my fine friends have put me in charge of the next campaign, and well, we're here now, so <laughs> we've committed. <laughs> we've committed to it. <laughs> it's official. Yeah. So, um, well, Jack said he'll give us coronavirus if we don't. So, <laughs> <laughs> give us a little choice, yeah. Jack. <laughs> well, this is true, um, and and at the same time, very not true. Um, Thanks for the muffin basket, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you got a muffin basket? Yeah. Give me a box of all brand. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to introduce yourselves? No. All right. Um, that's that's Dan. That's Greg. That's Lauren. That's Emil. You can't see us, but we're waving. That's Ben. Hi. Can you see Hi. me? I'm waving. Hello. Hello. I'm waving. I'm over here. No, no, next to the umbrella. I'm politely giving you all the finger. Um, and I'm we're waving. we're yeah, and um, and we're doing our next thing, and we're going to talk about it tonight. Um, you don't know it's the night. It might be a different time of day for you, but that's not that's not canon. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it at night. And um, so I want you to imagine you're at home and it's actually, a, it's not really a full moon yet. I mean, it's past the full moon, but it is close to a full moon. And um, I want you to imagine that there's five or six nerds sitting around a table. We're not actually sitting around a table, but imagine it. <laughs> I know you're there now. <laughs> We're not nerds either, obviously. I am. <laughs> Imagining that too. Yeah, imagine we are. Yeah, yeah imagine yeah, that. Imagine. Yeah, that's right. Imagine, imagine, imagine. It crazy. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah, so you're there and and they're just setting up to 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 decide what characters they're going to play 
in the next thing that Dice Paper Roll produces and should be interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll get on with it. Yeah. Would you actually like to introduce yourselves? No, I sure. did a good no, job. I'm Ben. Uh, I don't know who I'm playing ben yet. Does, that's, what, that's what we're here to find out. <laughs> That's all right, <laughs> spotlight hog. Come yeah, on, now, move now Ben's it introduction's on. Done, done. We can move on to the crack up. Yeah. <laughs> I was Ben yes Clemens in dice paper roll. Yeah. <laughs> I was yes above title billing. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, yeah. We don't yes and around here anymore, Ben. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't we? No. Ah! Ben's just going to edit himself into it anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, what, what we're going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about what we're going to do first. Um, uh, first of all, a round of applause for, for Greg on his excellent rendition of Curse of Strahd and yes. Lawrence. Yes. Good, good work. Good work. Good work, sir. The crowd goes yes. wild. <sighs> mm. Mm. Um, oh, delectable. Mm. Oh, have you tried this brie? Delicious. Mm. Oh, yes. yes quite. The quince, though. Very good. <laughs> the quince paste. Mm. Mm. Give um, me that little spoon. Uh, Strahd himself was very scary. And um, uh, thanks, thanks, Lauren, for doing the, um, to, to, for, for burking us all off. Um, <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Burke will never be the same. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I've got to say, I'm good at what I do, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and so some the say, next. Some say foreheads is a lot to handle, but you mastered that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Jesus. I did. Mm. Um, yeah. Sorry, Lauren. No. Um, never apologize, Jack. <laughs> um, Am I cutting so- that? In post, guys, <laughs> <man. laughs> definitely. Um, what are we doing, Jack? Well, well, what we're doing is so you might be thinking, "Geez, it's been a long time since book three. I was thinking, right. it's been a long time since we started this episode." But sure, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asking you a meal. Um, and um, and so what? What you're wondering is, where's book three? And so are we. And um, but we're not doing that. So tough shit. <laughs> um, I'm getting wait, wait, wait. to wait, it. I'm wait, 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 wait. We are getting there. We're waiting until uh, we can all be in person to do it. We've we're applying for some exciting things next year. There's lots of live shows on the cards, but in the meantime, we were pretty keen to do this. Yes. We don't want people yeah. to never do book three, Jack. Turn, turns out there was like a fucking pandemic that kind of screwed us and makes uh, recording in person a lot more difficult. That's right. Yeah. So, um, so for the, may have heard of it. So for the next thing, um, we're gonna do the Wild Beyond the Witchlight, which is like a kind of like a like a fantastical fairy tale um, book by the lovely people. You might you might have heard of them, uh, the Wizards of the Coast. Uh, they wrote another book, just one. Turns out it's all right. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that one. Um, and I, as alluded to at the beginning of the episode, I am going to be running it. Um, and, uh, that's going to be fun. Um, how do you feel about that, Jack? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Jack's enthusiasm knows no bounds, including speech. (laughs) 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 Oh, no. Break up. For context about how Jack's feeling, he's had to already change his pants. That's right. <laughs> Twice. That is true. And this is just the character creation yeah. episode. Session that, zero. That's why we're not actually sitting around the table because it got too smelly. Um, <laughs> uh, so first of all, I want to like talk about the setting um, and a little bit about some sort of basic themes of the of the of the of this campaign. Um, and so I'm going to get into it because um, we're on a tight schedule. We are all ears. The moon will not be up forever. <laughs> and it's Sunday um, night. That's right. Um, Late. So factor that into your mind palace. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mind palace. Oh, I yeah. like that. Mm. Um, Mine's just a heart. So, <laughs> so, um, the, fa- <laughs> the, fa- 
shut up. I'm trying to do this thing. <laughs> What's in the one room of the hut, though? <laughs> <laughs> What's in it? That's what a different it? episode of the podcast. Mm. Yeah. That's um, a Patreon only. Welcome back to Ben's Shag Shack. <laughs> Money's on the table. <laughs> um, I didn't listen to any of that. Um, so uh, what what we're doing is it's set in the Feywild and the Feywild's kind of like where all the fairies and shit are and that's kind of fun. Um, and so hopefully when we're doing our characters, we're going to be thinking about that a little bit. And I want to explore some kind of themes with that. And so those themes are kind of, um, it's going to be like a, a surreal campaign where time, reality, and story are unreliable. So just like the players. <laughs> and, <laughs> and also covering my tracks. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, very so, nice. <laughs> no need to retcon. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. It was all a dream. Yeah, that's A right. wizard did it. Yeah. 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 That's right. Um, Temporal anom- anomaly. It's, yeah. And so when I say it's fairy tales, you might be thinking, yay, that sounds nice and sweet, but it's not. Like it's fairy more, tales. Yeah, more just Brothers like. Brothers Grimm style That's fairy right. Tale. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're bleak. thinking. Yeah, bleak and dark. You're not going to have a good like time. Um, yeah. Hate Welcome having to a our good comedy time. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Our second yeah. campaign of horror. The, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> if there aren't cannibal children, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Um, Greg gave me the taste and I just <laughs> just went in for another taste. Mm. Um, mm. um <laughs> And so the next part, the next thing I've written here is you should be able to get through any situation in this game non-lethally. That means not killing anything, not killing anyone, not getting yourselves killed. That doesn't mean you should. Is that a challenge? I feel like that's you're almost posing it as like a challenge. It's kind of a challenge. It's going to be harder to do it that way. However. It's harder to do it with violence or harder to do it without violence? Harder to do it without, according to the book. um, I feel like that's what piqued your interest when we were talking about um, off air a little while ago, what we're going to do next. And Greg said, hey, this Feywild campaign, it's designed so you don't ever have to do combat. And you're like, I'll DM that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I didn't say you don't have to do combat. There will be combat, but... Cool. You can talk your way out of it. You You can can talk your way out of it. De-escalate situations. That's right. We'll see how that pans out. I don't know. We'll see. I might get bored of it. Um, uh, and then the, 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 the theme of the, the thing, and maybe this is putting the cart before the horse. I don't know if that's the right saying. Um, is that it's, a, it's, it's quite a lot about loss, regrets, and betrayal. Um, and and oh, We don't know anything about that. No. Um, and and then the other thing is that there will be open worldy segments, but I will tell you when they occur and what limits mm. there are. And um, oh, and the other thing is, and you already know this, it's a pre-written, but it doesn't mean it's preordained. We may go off the tracks. Mm. Um, cool. Uh, so if can- you if you're trying to follow along at home and you're like, wait, there isn't a weird house with um, big figs. <laughs> no. Spoilers, Jeff. but I um, I could hardly imagine such a place. Hang yeah. on, are you describing Ben's mind shack? Yeah, it's definitely the mind <laughs> palace right. shack. Yeah. Yes, there goes half our listeners. One of the, one of the massive, um, the yeah, massive pair of figs yeah. above the yeah. can, can, <laughs> Ben's inside making fig jam. It's all <laughs> ben, Ben's, stirring up the pot. Ben's sex shack was it? <laughs> Ben's shag shack. Shag, shag shack. Yeah. yeah. Some people so, have a mind palace. Others. <laughs> can, can I ask a, a question, Jack? So it, when, when you were saying about how, you know, it, we're going to be doing the Feywild and, and all that sort of, um, it's a fantastical place and dreams and surrealism and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Are we, um, like, coming to this place from, like, the real world? Like, are we real world characters yeah. or are we people that live in this fantastical kind of place 
Oh, well, um, yeah. So you'll, you'll mostly be coming from, I guess, it, I guess it's sort of ambiguously any kind of. We can choose whether we want to be a part of that, that world and, or yeah. we come from the, you know, yeah. regular real world. That's I right. I think, um, I think we can, we'll get into that with the characters, I think, but yes. Mm. Right. Cool. Yeah. And, um, when, I, when we say the real world, it won't be like Melbourne. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, that's fuck, there goes my idea of playing Dan Andrews. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, as long as there's like a fairly decent coffee place somewhere in the Feywild, I'm all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, yeah. Okay. And then the next Sounds thing fun. is, uh, let's, let's talk about our characters. Um, yeah. Let's um, dive straight into Ben's hump hut. <laughs> Come on in, everybody. I'm playing Dan Andrews. Yeah, do you want to go first, Ben? Sure. I look North, I came... North Face jacket to AC. In back ears. That's good news, remember. It's yeah. actually to charisma, because when he was wearing his North Face jacket, oh. that was when it was like we we got some good news. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if he was wearing a suit, it was bad. Bad and news. I only just caught up that you were talking about Dan Andrews premiere yeah. of Victoria through the lockdown. Sorry. Oh yeah. Um, it's been yeah, a look, slow I came year. to this, I came to this, uh, sesh tonight, um, I don't know, with a fairly vague concept of, of what I'm thinking of playing, um, with the whole kind of Feywild, I don't know, Alice in Wonderland-ish, but dark kind of vibe. I was just trying to think what we could play. And basically I was thinking like, a little modron modron kind of guy uh thing like a their constructs um oh boy thing- what so, so slow it down so, a little bit more yeah <laughs> okay pull it back please pull it back <laughs> obviously emil knows all what's right. going on all right all right i'm already intimidated i got intimidated before with the first question that daddy asked i'm like oh hang on fuck uh, okay 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 i'm gonna i'm just gonna link something into the chat okay so that would be great because that's gonna be great well for all that, our listeners. that works well on a podcast <laughs> but no <laughs> basically no, they the <laughs> listeners are way ahead of me that's fine oh, so yeah. what i'm thinking essentially is like a little robot kind of a thing uh a bit of a tin man vibe maybe but i like the idea that maybe they were turned into this uh particular construct a construct is an in a, um a life well they're not humanoid it's non-biological right it's yeah non-biological yeah, yeah. um it's an animate so, object yeah yeah these modrons i kind of quite like the look of a lot of them they're sort of like little clockworky kind of Things with wings and oh yeah, it's the minion um, things. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut so the it's fuck a minion. Up, You're gonna play a minion. Yeah, okay. you know, oh. despicable me. Something I can despicable wrap my head around. <laughs> minion. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. Look, he's I playing, know. He's playing a I minion. know when hey, I. This podcast rise. has been fun, guys. I'm gonna see you the fuck later. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> when I rise to the bait and I say no that you guys push harder and that it becomes a thing, but. Fuck no, I'm not playing. <laughs> okay. No, that's fair. And I Shut also hate that. Session I, zero. I don't quite share the hatred of them that Emil does, but I know that we will lose Emil if we if I play a minion. And Legit, I think if there are minions in this game, I'm out. I'm I'm 100 out. I'm done. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Note to oh, self, no, Jack. No. You know what Emil fears. <laughs> Rewrite. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it live. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the idea. I have no idea what class. Uh, I'm like, I, I like the idea that um, upper or lower. <laughs> sure, <laughs> both. So, what, what, what kind of um, per, like? So it's it's a like essentially like a little kind of clockwork robot sort of style creature. Like, did have you thought about like kind of personality, like mm. kind of traits or that sort of. Well, Stuff, what I'm thinking kind of, of running with is like a maybe use the Warforged stats, which is a you know a, um, for want of a better term and for a total noob like a a hang robot. On. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. I, they I have learned feelings a robot. and I learned yeah. something. I learned something while reading these books. 
It says that you need to ask me permission for if you can do that. Oh, who's got their fucking DM complex on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, just, so just ask me. my Padawan. Would it be okay if I play a Tin Man esque kind of construct using a Warforged as a base for the uh, race? Um, but cosmetically, I think it could be anything. I like the idea that they could change uh, occasionally. I don't know what class yet. I'm thinking maybe a barbarian or a fighter. Um, something that doesn't know how to process its emotions properly. Like it was a little, it was created to be like a guard or something, or maybe a wizard did it. Maybe what a about, fae what about did it like in the a, fae wild. Can I do that, Jack? <clears throat> what about if they're like a ticket box? <laughs> <laughs> or what about a t- like a ticket machine? Like yeah, something like a ticket machine. At the start machine. of a festival ride. or a- Yeah. Oh, yeah what real. if I was like a little whack-a-mole? Oh, I, I used to be a whack-a-mole oh, game. Oh, and that's pretty good. So I've got the little mole inside me. <laughs> <laughs> the mole comes up the occasionally. Or is it just and your little idea? arms are like the little, like, they're little the hammers. hammers. But maybe as we go, I could get them replaced with weapons. That's yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. 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 Um, so as you start the DM. off with two hammers. Yeah. As the DM. They're foam, I'm, they're foam I'm going to say yes. What yes, did you yes. mean by ticket machine? Sorry, because like a whack a mole, you put tickets yeah. in. My oh, my go to how- was like when you're at the deli section and you have to take a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking like a train ticket machine. Like yeah. a- I was oh, like I a see. car park yeah. ticket, and you have a little mm. like boom gate. Oh. oh, see, I kind of went to like you know when you One go to an arcade. Very log arm. <laughs> <laughs> he you has shall a permanent not pass. Lance. A permanent lance. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it could be cool. I, I Just, you know, when you go to like an arcade though, and the yeah. machines spit it spits out, tickets, out like time zone tickets. Mm, that's mm, where mm, I went with that. Oh, you're right. right. Okay, or so or you, we could just you, shoot a lot of basketballs into you. Sure. Maybe I can change shape occasionally. Maybe, maybe you know. just like maybe you just like an and like a walking like entertainment box, and like you can just be whatever you want. But it's basically arcade based, and you can spit out tickets. <laughs> sure. But this is kind of very those... gambling related, so it's almost like pachinko. Yeah. So you've got like little like a little dial that brings up like cherries or like. I like that. Mm. I, I mean, it's up to you, Ben, obviously. But. The one arm bend it. Hey, gang, I just want to nerd out <laughs> for a second. I know it's not like me, but um, instead of <laughs> no, the very unusual. Warforged, yeah, I'm out of character, Warforged template, you can use the um, the new Tasha's rules, which allow you to modify um, mm. your, like, origin. So you, you craft the bonuses mm. and stuff to fit Ooh. the... Um, the uh, the origin of your character, yeah, the concept, okay. is, yeah. In, in this case, is a modern, yeah. Okay, which would do make that. you better at what? What do you Whack-a-ball. mean by craft the bonuses? Well, it just it just means because the the Warforged is like a very specific example, and particularly like the Eberron races tend to be quite uh, highly powered. But you can so you can play. A, they're moving away from the race archetype, and oh. and so then you can be. An elf, but you're not dexterous. You're less dexterous oh, or, or whatever. Cool. So it, it, it better fits the background that you create for your character. Yeah, and it also up. allows you to play just anything. Yeah. That's cool. So, is it, yeah. So right. Instead of having that pre, like the pre written version of it, this is the template for a human or an elf or yeah. whatever. You can just go, oh, well, I'm going to take a little bit of the elf bonuses and I'll mm-hmm. take a little bit of the halfling bonus or, you know, and sure. m- miss and match. That sounds I'll look cool. into that. That yeah, does great. sound cool. I like, yeah, I'm, and clearly, you know, I've thought so much about this beyond what I've come to the table with. Um, <laughs> but, I, yeah, I feel like that will be quite good because the Warforge, honest, honestly, I just was like, eh, that's close enough, but um, this yeah, sounds it, like I might be able to tailor it a bit better. I don't know what they're doing there. I don't know what they want, what their mission is. That's all is. right. I'll figure that out for you. Yeah, cool. A small, small um, Lodron or they're a small uh, character? Modrons are yeah. medium. Or are they medium, are they? Medium. Is that big? Is medium is a human medium. size to okay. dwarven. Dwarves are still considered yeah, medium. Still medium yeah. I think I need to go medium just because, you know, Snatch was a halfling, <laughs> Ragyog was a goblin. Everyone's so small. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Very yeah. little. Okay. Yeah. It's because you're compensating for your massive cock, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We've all seen it. Uh, Welcome to the sex. I act. gotta tell you, that's one fine specimen. It's so intimidating. It's just yeah. a. A throbbing oh, right. monster. Talking about that hobbit, hobbit dib- dildo again. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are we not going to book talk? <laughs> when are we not? Can we all get out of the hump hut, please? Also, yeah. like that, I, I I opened into that for anyone listening, being like, again? Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> we have to go back and search that out. Too. Wow. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I feel like that's an appropriate. Uh, Spot to move on from me talking about. <laughs> Is it? I mean, it's also like like a name or a voice or like a yeah, demeanor, yeah. like a like how? Mm. What are we going to hear? Or oh. were you not at that sort of Ooh, point yet? I. What about just? Is it? I don't. Mm, I don't know. What about just a roboty voice. What does that sound like? Uh I couldn't tell you. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, that's good. Please that's get good. out Fucking of great. my hump hut before I lose my shit. <laughs> unless. Oh, very hot. Oh, unless. Arnie. Uh, oh, 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 my gosh. Get Jeez. out of my hump hut. <laughs> <laughs> get uh, to if, the hump hut. What if, he's, uh, what if they've got like a. Um, out of my root room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get to the chopper. Yeah. <laughs> what if they've got like a little uh, pokey machine thing that you just pull on it occasionally and have to change the accent? Because you know, <laughs> I'm just. I have weird. so many. Uh, you get three sevens and it's a fucking it's Arnie and then if it's, we, we could uh, what about if queens. like you have to roll a, a D eight and you have to like um like switch between the Look, I, I don't want to I don't want to say no to anyone but uh, I think that from a listener's point of view having a consistency of accent through the mm. podcast might be a mm. plus. I'm Shut so up. Gonna- <laughs> I, back, I back a meal on that. I mean, no bad ideas in brainstorming, though. I liked sure. that first yeah. one, Ben. That was great. I did yeah. too. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. Arnie's pretty good too. So yeah, get to the bonk barn. <laughs> <laughs> the bonk, bonk barn. Did yeah. you say? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's I think that's my favorite. Yeah, bonk barn, bonk barn. Get into I... Benny's bonk barn. Yes. <laughs> hey Benny, you want to come back to my bonk barn? Is that the name of the episode? <laughs> Benny's, oh, bonk barn? Benny's bonk barn. Yes. Oh, right it down, oh, the anyway. alliteration. Um, okay, I'm you definitely have to do it. Now. But yeah. they've I just done know... the build back better bill in America. <laughs> um, build back Benny's bonk barn <laughs> better. <laughs> yeah, and bigger. Yeah. Upgrade yeah. Benny's slap and tickle tent. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Alignment, dunno, doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't just look consistent. Yeah. I want to just note like consistent accent. I think that's really important point yeah. that it, nice having that is really good. It'd be good if we could at some point <laughs> do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Someone to have a consistent accent yeah. for God's sake. Yeah. Oh, if you know. shed a single tear, does it rust? <laughs> oh. Can oh, you shed poetic. a single tear? Or is it oil? Tear? Is it a bit yeah, of squirt of oil down your face? A, lube, yeah. a bit of lubricant or, from that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do they just disappear the like like <laughs> tears in the rain? You could be a sex robot. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it feels like Jesus sex Christ. <laughs> well, you know, just I thought you said no about obviously in the brain. <laughs> See, I'm quite a Blade Runner and yeah, with sex robots. Mm. Um, You're just a well, fleshlight with arms and legs. <laughs> oh, what is my life? <laughs> what is my purpose? <laughs> what is my, uh, uh, Master, uh, what is love? <laughs> okay. Maybe Baby, your, like, your name is like a serial number of some Oh, yes. Mm. Like a C-3PO or something. Or yeah. just be just binary, one zero, just zero one one zero one one zero one one zero zero one one sixty nine. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. I haven't many, haven't got there with the name. How many zeros yet, and ones so. does it take to do binary? 69? Binary. Yeah. Binary. <laughs> binary. Uh, All right, that's enough time in Benny's I, long shack. I, okay. bon yes, get the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. Do you want to know sixty nine <laughs> in binary? Yes. yes. Zero B one zero 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 one zero one. Huh? Hell yeah. Catchy. It was shorter than when it was oh, yeah. than what I thought it was going to yeah. be. So I that's good. I think the B's are stand in for more zeros and ones. I have oh, maybe. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, you're probably right. Billions. Yeah, I know binary. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> anyway, Danny, what that's are you great. Do? All right, so I'm I I don't I don't know uh, race do or class. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> but what what I the kind of character I guess maybe it's still kind of influenced. I, I don't know if I'm kind of being a little bit influenced from um, what's its name from Curse of Strahd. But I, the character idea that I had was essentially like a noble, like a like something high up, like even to like prince kind of mm. level, like royalty. Oh, I thought you meant the artist. Like me purple rain. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. You wish. Uh, I well, do wish. I fucking wish. Uh, I, well, <laughs> I'm not going to start trying to do p- prince impersonations or anything. I was. But well, he could have the same kind of flair. If you want to deprive the listeners of that, Dan, that's up to you, but I will not back that decision. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially what I was kind of thinking was I, I kind of just had the idea of like the the classic um, royal noble completely out of touch with the, you know, regular class, but also, you know, has to go out on an adventure to prove his worth, but is like completely terrified of combat and absolutely useless but like talk like you know talks big but delivers little which is <laughs> you know i kind of feel i try and i that's a fantasy for me really <laughs> um, if we're gonna be playing a tabletop role play i want to be the landlord you know i want to be i want to have my power fantasy yeah um so i'm kind of thinking that like something where he's you know he's just like <laughs> You know, like, what do you call that? A spoon. Wow. I just have people just feed me. I got me. just a tiny bit of Matthew McConaughey just then. And I yeah, that'd be it. good. That'd be yeah. a good Prince oh, voice. Put, put your shirt back on, Dan. Oh, okay. Oh, like, yeah, I, yeah. It's like you like you rip open your shirt and you've got like, this little like, pigeon chest, but you still think it's like fucking... <laughs> I'm going to be like a little bit Matthew McConaughey. All right, cool. I, I, I kind of feel like I'm doing more of my George W. Bush impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, hey you did, man. You did All also right. just finish Curse of Strahd playing a Southern Belle. Mm. And, and you did talk about as well. And you did talk about um, uh, all talk and no action kind of powerful sons of people. So George W. Bush just kind of fits the bill. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, uh, American royalty, dare I say it? So I'm I'm kind of thinking a, a character where it's like, yeah, just completely unaware and kind of also amazed, like, oh wow, this is how the regular people do mm. it. Mm-hmm. Like, I oh, like that. That's amazing. Mm. You you guys use cutlery. You don't have just a regular like a. You don't have a butler chewing your food and spitting it into your mouth, and you can <laughs> your baby birding you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, what? Really? <laughs> you use your hands like that? That kind of thing. Where's the wiper? Where is the wiper? Um, nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't but, know. Uh, not... Coming to America style. Mm. Yeah, Wipers. that that kind of thing. Mm. What's that? The Sorry, royal that, penis uh, is clean. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Wipers. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, what sort of class are you? Are you think like? Well, that's where I'm kind of upper. Uh, upper obviously. Upper. Well, bard, obviously. Yeah, I thought bard, the right? the highest class, but I don't really know. In terms of character, I've kind of thought maybe like a fighter, but actually use strength as like my shittest stat. So I'm actually really shit in a a combat situation and I'm absolutely terrified. But on the off chance, maybe I like I was kind of thinking maybe a fighter champion where it's you get like... um, you can get a critical hit on a 19 or a 20. So it's just kind of on the off chance, Mm. maybe I just like, ah, and I swing my sword and I accidentally stab him in the neck and I get him and it's like, Mm. yes. Or otherwise I'm just completely Mm. kind of fucked and useless. I get you guys to do the fighting. Right. (laughs) To read into this, he'd like had lots of, Sword fighting and whatever lessons, but always with like yes. sycophants and yes yeah. men who would be willing to. Yes. Oh, the prince has done it again. Oh, well yeah, done, exactly, oh. exactly. He yeah, yeah. wins at fucking every card game because totally. he's got the influence, but he's just absolutely useless in real life. 
but takes all so the it's glory. It's like a touch of like Hamlet. Oh, like yeah. yeah, all those all those kind of things. But yeah, that's where I'm. I'm kind of like I don't know where I sit in terms of what kind of race or class. I mean, you know, class. I could just straight up just go like, well, human and just go white male, base yeah. it off of you know. Yeah, it fits right. Be yeah. a mm. colonizer kind totally. of, yeah. you know. Mm. Yeah, but. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure. Not, and then co- not colonialism. <laughs> no, no, not colonialism. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, just that whole kind of thing <laughs> of whether I'm. Jack's being cancelled, so Dan will now be. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd kind of like to whether see that I'm... character non-human. Part of me yeah. would really like to see, like, as a tabaxi well, or something that can be a bit that's arrogant at the same time. That's where I was kind of or... also asking that question to Jack previously, whether um, this is maybe a character that comes from the natural sort of fantasy world, the material plane, or whether they come from the Feywild and maybe they're a fairy prince or yeah. Um, yeah. or yeah. something like that. But Or an elf. Or an dragonborn. elf. Dragonborn. Dragonborn, mm. any other, but yeah, that's why I'm just I'm not I'm not sure I don't know and where uh, that kind of character I think, sits in there. I think. You're, um, sorry, Jack. Uh, oh, I was gonna say I think uh, I would kind of like you to do something a bit more normal because I think I can do something pretty fun. With as in, do you mean like something well, more, more normal? As in, like human? Yeah, like, elf. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The basic sort of ones, not not actually. Not actually from the Feywild. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Because I'm think, not going to elaborate that makes sense because that'll because be a spoiler. But I th- mm. yeah, I think that makes sense because I kind of am trying uh, the character that uh, is sort of fish out of water, mm. totally out of their depth, yeah. kind of thing. <clears throat> which would be um, which would suit the themes of the Feywild. Yeah, think. yeah. Um, yeah, but I think so he's yeah, just the, the, literally the... just trying to make sense of literally everything that's in front of his eyes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but then then yeah. So uh, I'm not so the race. I think can kind of be sort of anything to a certain yeah. extent. But the the thing that's kind of tripping me up, I think, is like the class. Like I could go something that's really a uh, charismatic based um, class. Because he's all about his words and he's going to be aristocratic and that kind of thing. But I could just have that as my stat, not necessarily what my class is. Like I could still be a fighter with a kick ass charisma, but I'm supposed to be good in a fight, but I'm not. What if they think they're a fighter, but they're actually a bard? Mm. Yeah, yeah, see, I was kind of thinking maybe bard would potentially work well as well. College College of Swords. Oh, yeah. Or College of Eloquence, like something like, or Glamour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said he wasn't yeah. doing Prince. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's, college of Glamour would totally be like Prince. Isn't Glamour like your, a, you do like illusion. disguise, yeah. illusion sort of stuff? Maybe yeah. Eloquence might not be Eloquence might Yeah, you be can good. put like someone else's face on right yeah you can do that with glamour because it's all about like kind of the po- like the performer the um i kind of yeah i really enjoy the idea that you believe like you get into a fight like you know your first instinct is to fight but then you get scared and as you're scared you're talking and mm. then as you're talking you talk your way out of it totally yeah mm. yeah like a, bard, a, a bard really fits yeah yeah it really feels right for the, yeah. But I mean, even so, I don't even have to choose um, what college Mm-mm. the bard no, is later. because that doesn't happen until third. But whether that would suit best, I, I kind of get um, a slight image of uh, from The Witcher. Who's the bard friend? Oh, Dandelion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, so far my. Uh, Character name is Lord Walter Periwinkle, but <laughs> like Walt. I'm not. Yeah, I, you can either call him Walt or Lord Walter Periwinkle. I don't know. Perry, where's Perry? I feel like I've just stolen a type Periwinkle. Of yeah, yeah, and it's a color. It's a little muscle, right? Yeah. It's a little pointed shoe. Oh, 
I think named know. after the shellfish. <laughs> I'm not Thanks, stealing Greg. it from other, some other no, kind no, no, of no. fantasy it, it is, thing. It is, a, it is a shellfish. But I think the You're a shellfish out. prince. There we go. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. It's also periwinkle oh, blue. It's a kind of the say. It's a name. Also named after the shellfish. Can your shellfish, banner yeah. be like a little shellfish? <laughs> if you draw it, it sure can. Ah, oh, I'm not can thinking. So, I'm sorry, that's not <laughs> a type flower. of shoe. The type of shoe I'm thinking of is winkle picker. My uh, bad. I see. I knew Lord I know winkle, winkle picker. picker. That's way better. A winkle picker. I kind of. Oh, Ooh. that could be winkle Lord picker. winkle picker. Lord Walter winkle picker. Winkle picker. Winkle picker. Also, a winkle is a kind of shellfish. Okay. <laughs> Wing, that's winky, isn't it? That's where I got. When did you become a marine there? biologist? <laughs> hey, a, hey, I've always been a mollusk man. <laughs> but like winkle pickers are like very pointed, very princely looking shoes. They've often got like little mm. buckles and they're very sort of like, Ornate, yeah, they're supposed to be very point, pointed. Mm. There's um, a really great um, comic that I think our listeners should listen, should go read called Kingly by um, Nick. Edwards on you can read it on um Instagram. It's very funny. Just a that's just a plug from me. We're not paid for that. Or you anything. could get gang, like like winkle that pickers that are periwinkle blue. And then gang, blue. gang, no. gang. Really important. A winkle is a periwinkle. And a periwinkle oh, wow. is a flower. I said and shellfish. A, no, an edible marine fish? intertidal okay, species. Good. Yeah. good. Come into my house. I'll tell you what a winkle is. <laughs> I'll show you my winkle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh please! Uh, your winkle wagon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh one, guys! God. I got one! I got one! I got oh one. my god! On the board. Yes, my chariot, because my chariot will be the winkle wagon. Winkle Can wagon. it be in the shape of a pointy shoe? Yeah, uh, or a shellfish. Like a like a like a, a like a hot dog van. <laughs> Step into my mollusk mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Yes. Oh okay. God. That sounds right. great, Danny. That's- yeah, good one, Dan. Um, yeah. I can see you yeah. playing that character very well. Did we decide anything? Is there any what? do you have any, any further questions? Um no. Uh, well, no, the, the I wanted to float the um the character name. But yeah, I my main thing was just trying to narrow down what kind of class. I think the race is I'm I'm still kind of open to We whatever. can talk about that later. I think, I, I think you know, probably elvish or human probably mm. fits thematically potentially the best and maybe not even elven because elven elves have a lot to do with the Feywild and so mm. if it's being a bit more that kind of fish out of water mm. sort of Periwinkle style. out of water. Elfish out of water. Oh, yes. There it just, is. just to, to put it out there, like... Rather than go with the what would fit the most, what race would be the least mm. fitting Tor- of that? Total, total. Yeah, in the Feywild, what yeah. was what would stand or just that out even kind most. of character could be quite interesting, like a, a race. Yeah, that I love the fit that juxtaposition. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Goblin, probably a yeah. goblin prince, or a, like a hobgoblin. Yeah, goblin prince, a royal. Orc. I reckon. I reckon. Let's put a pin in it there. I'm going to talk to Danny about it after this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jack wants you to play a human, Dan. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to Danny. <laughs> but I, I, I agree with well, Ben's point that it is really, like, it is so much yeah. more interesting to have something contrast to something else. Yeah. Even and if not I, for I, Dan's I'm, case, but for something else. I'm I'm also a little bit wary of doing a human because Thandor's a human. I did Bertrand. He was a human. Like, it's all right, Dan. I've, I've done it. quite Don't a lot of it. regular kind of characters. So, mm. so Jack's yeah. not giving permission to Dan right now. Oh, well, you have yeah. to ask Jack permission. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. In private. In private. Jack, and please in the hump pull hump. up your pants. Okay. <laughs> I know the power is getting to you, and I really, we, no one needs to see that you mean, right now. You mean Jack's okay. jerk yet? <laughs> you don't have to copy everything I do as a DM, Jack. Oh my God. Really? Have you been Googling different kinds of house structures? <laughs> No. What's a different dwelling? What's a different form of dwelling? What's a name for it? Hmm, the Yankee. The swelling dwelling. Uh, <laughs> the swelling dwelling. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, 
Um, anyways, the layback um, lean too. No, sorry, that's mm. too much. <laughs> all right. So Lord Lord Walter um, Winkle Picker, Winkle Picker, or Periwinkle? Winkle Picker. Oh. Winkle, Winkle Picker is Winkle, better. Winkle, yeah. Winkle Picker, Periwinkle. Winkle Pick. Mm. I like Periwinkle. Oh no. Mm. No. Oh no. <laughs> no! I like Winkle Picker because it's well, it fun. it does have the alliteration of Walter Winkle Picker. Yeah. Walter Winkle Picker feels great. I yeah. think I think that's um the the winner. That's the guy. Yeah. Thank you. The Long Island Winkle Picker. What Pickers? I originally went with though, oh. Greg. So props. Walter to you. Winkle Picker Picker Pector Picker Picker Wankers. Picker Wanker Picker. Walter Walter Winston Winkle Picker. <laughs> Winked at Picks and the wank. third. No. All right. There's all a right. good tongue Seven. twister in there somewhere. I'll have it. Wankle picker. So. Good. I promised uh, Emil I'd keep this tight. Okay. Emil. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm going to play a uh, a creature from the Fae, I think. A um Ooh. a la well, large for large for what it is, but not large in the scheme of the game rules. Definitely small creature, I think, in that. Respect, um, an oversized cricket. Um, oh, yeah, yeah a large Brilliant. cricket uh, uh, called Rye Crane. Called uh, uh, Ron Bugman. No, Don <laughs> Bugman. Sorry, right. <laughs> Don Bugman. Bugman. Don Bugman. Don Bugman. Can he can he look like Jiminy Cricket, but he's got a cricket. Like cricket a cricket hat. helmet and a maybe, bat. Yeah. maybe. Oh, he, 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 yeah, he definitely wields That's a bat, but it's like it's a petrified actual bat. Like it's four a bat. bats. <laughs> it's got four bats. Ah. Got four bats. <laughs> yeah, um, and he just talks a bit like this. He's a good knockabout bloke, you know. He's here. Oh. What can he do to help? And uh, you know, he just wants to be part of the gang. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, in terms of class, I'm pretty open to that at the mode, based on mm-hmm. needs of the party. I reckon. Sure. Uh, would be interested in playing cleric again because uh, I really like playing. Oh, sorry. Again, this part, of this podcast doesn't see me play a cleric, but um, <laughs> I have yeah. played a cleric in our first, my first ever D and D game, and I like that. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be adverse to doing that. That being said the idea of the cricket being like a kind of like a reaper cheap type dashing around jumping around moving quickly and 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 uh making Ooh. attacks you like gotta be short monk. sharp and yeah, monk. Like yeah. Monk. monk monk yeah. makes some sense yeah mm. yep um, cricket form yes uh and the yes. bat could be like a Nunchucks, but a yeah, bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got four arms, right? You get four oh, arms. Just like a, a mini bat, fry cream. Like a baseball. Yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah. Funny that. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't read. I that. just really yeah. liked the idea of playing a large cricket. <laughs> no, I, I did. I did actually. Um. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um. Oh, wouldn't the cricket um, be a bard because they like? Oh yeah, that strum there. Cicadas. Oh. Sorry. I mean, I no, but no, I mean, no, cricket cricket do, do that. Cricket make noise. Look, it's a hobby. The leg noises, but uh, he doesn't like to make it his full career because he doesn't want to yeah. ruin the magic of the. So I go pro, by, yeah, by making, putting pressure on himself to perform for money like a cheap whore. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fair. Once it becomes work, it really takes on different kinds. He's got a big clutch of eggs at home. He needs to send money back to, so he needs to earn <laughs> some eggs, real probably. coin. Oh, yeah. I don't know. They're Absolutely. doing the Feywild. I will find out. I will <laughs> this find. One does. I will find some bug facts and tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> Don yeah. Bugman does. Don Bugman knows some bug facts. Bug, bug facts with Don Bugman. Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> can oh, can that be oh. like there? Are, there is, is like there a, an ex, is it a boy like, or is it like a personality that had that show? I almost sorry, it was two David questions at... going at once there. I don't know who asked me. Yeah, what. come on, come on, guys. Sorry, ladies first. Ten. Oh my. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> that, it was Ten. like. <laughs> Is it <laughs> is is it a boy or is it like what do crickets kind of you know are they like hermaphrodite? Yeah, I, had, I I was I was thinking about playing a non-binary character in this game, and yeah. I'm still thinking that. Mm. So yeah, yeah, yes. all right, he, yeah. So yeah. they them they them, yeah. Cool. cool. What well, Ben? What was your question? Um, I I know I was just saying, could that please still could that be their background? Is that they used to be a TV personality Don Bugman actually had a TV <laughs> show. show all about bugs. Bug facts with Don Bugman. And maybe that's why you're in the Feywild. Don maybe. Bugman's backyard. I was trying to follow that up with <laughs> oh, maybe no. he could be like a David Attenborough. 
Yeah. David Attenborough. David Attenborough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Step into my house. Save that for the save that for the cuddle cocoon, Joe. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna absolutely destroy wrong. your thorax. <laughs> 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 oh my god oh, Have you seen the proboscis on that guy god, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. uh, Very good I didn't realise it was going to come out like that I, just, <laughs> we could make it really- I could see you Not realising it was coming yeah. out like that And it was oh, great please, <laughs> man. please draw that art I was ready. <laughs> Can we change the name of the episode to destroy your thorax, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Bugman. Any, so any, other, think, any other questions about it? So you think monk? Monk, maybe? You, something? That feels good. Or like yeah, cleric? Or, yeah. Monk or cleric. We'll see. I just want to see what the lay of the party is before I kind of make a yeah. definitive call. But I think though between those two, that, that feels right. Yep. Yeah. It's like zip, zipping around to heal and, and to lay buffs oh, is quite that's handy cool. too. Being Actually, really that's pretty unexpected. Um, yeah. So there's th- there's that. Um, but I do also like the attack idea with the monk and, and being mm. kind of uh, using the natural the f- abilities. The flurry the on top of the four arms. arms. Yeah, because you've got four arms and then you flurry as You'd well. You'd be that's doing like crazy. 20 mm. attacks that's in a, a turn. You'd be fucking going crazy. But this mm. is a non-lethal campaign. Great. That's it. That's right. <laughs> yes. Have we met? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to do some buggery, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about well, um, what about a druid as well? Considering the the bug mm. facet, like the the yeah. um, Atten bug. Uh, well, maybe, maybe oh. I don't know. Druid, druids. Fuck druids. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan. No, and there yeah. goes two of our yeah. listeners. <laughs> we can what do it at you, can... druids. Back into the fucking bush or something. Hmm. Is he like kind of angry or is he sort of like a... No. No. Are they no, no. kind of angry? Are they, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. It, it, they're very, very, uh, very uh, kind of Aussie blokey uh, um, is what I'm thinking. Um, but... D- there's some deep, deep anger pressed down within him that he's bottled up for sure. But well, yeah, you don't know that. He's an he's a, yeah, Aussie. He's a Aussie. So um, yeah, <laughs> it's all cool on the surface until it's not. I think. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, deceptively we'll laid back. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That almost sounds barbarian-ish, Ooh, but I know you sure. know bugbearing. Obviously, bugbearing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Lauren. Sure. Kind of two <laughs> barbarians, I suppose. You're we welcome. Could. Yeah. yeah, you can have. Yeah. You could all be barbarians. Oh yeah, you were saying maybe not. barbarian, weren't you, Ben? With the, mm. um, or a fighter, the Modron. Maybe. A I don't fighter. think. I, yeah, I don't think I, it matters if nah. we have two of the same. And I don't, I'm also, I don't think. Yeah, at all. I'm, also, no. I'm, 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 I'm happy with the uh, either monk or cleric at this point. Mm. Cool. Mm. Yeah. All right. Cool. My God, that monk will be insane. Yeah, <laughs> fucking oh. That's kind of fun. And you won't ever get to use them. And oh, the well. move as well, like the movement <sighs> speed of the Thrycreen <laughs> with the jumping and the. Um, uh, see, what, so what could be cool. so cool is because Jack gave us a little bit of an insight that maybe at some point we'd have to do a play. And so oh, a Thrycreen stage combat teacher, you know, teaching how to throw punches. Could be, yeah. Uh, Spoilers. I mean, if that's uh, not a reason to... <laughs> Choose right. <laughs> hey man, when you could follow a career as being a stage combat, um, mm-hmm. you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it'll be that sounds really great, Emil. Cool, I'm excited mm-hmm. for that. Cool. Um, oh, have fine. you asked permission? Yes, I assume. I feel like that's what <laughs> I just Jack gave just did. it. Yeah, thanks, Jack. <clears throat> You're very um, welcome. Yep. Like all great things, this was born out of a joke in a group chat. Mm-hmm. Um, where someone was riffing about something and that some, one of us should just play a little boy called Kevin. <laughs> so I'm going to play a little boy called Kevin Strangeways. <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Strangeways. Yeah. It's, and I, I'm like, I'm not going to stretch it too hard, Um, like voice wise. It could just be like, hey, I'm Kevin Strangeways. Hi. I'm like mm. 12. I'm pretty cool. I yeah. could go up at the end. I could be a little bit more, co- I, but I've done that a lot before. Maybe it's a Robbie. Mm. Is it a Robbie voice? Or oh, is it really? just kind of a, just a bit higher 
and normal. I liked the U bit a bit higher. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kevin Strangeways. Kevin Strangeways. What are you doing in this neck of the woods, Kevin Strangeways? Ah, oh, woke up here. Yeah. Mm. Um, are you accompanied by a guardian? <laughs> No. We don't, know what Greg, we don't know what Greg's playing yet, so be careful about how you answer. <laughs> yeah. You should come into my house. <laughs> I oh, that looks pretty cool. What, are you, is there, what's, what have you got in there? Those are, like dog toys? Oh. Yeah. You got a puppy? Yeah. Lots of Kongs. <laughs> uh, Full of treats. I'm a little boy. Uh, it's me, Kevin Strangeways. I'm a little boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I kind of Kevin. want I, the ideas, like, makes it literally like a bit of like the Kevin McAllister, like, classic Home Alone type thing. Oh. Um, Rogue? Yeah. Yes, I thought about Sorcerer. that. Um, I was also thinking, like, Bart Simpson, clearly, because there is a Nancy Cartwright connection. <laughs> <'cause>, sure. <laughs> and then, but also, like, a Christopher Robin-esque kind of thing. Like, a sort Ooh, of, nice. you have, like, this, like, you have innocent little boy and then you have very naughty little boy. And I, I and quite yeah, like the cool. idea as well. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. Sorry? Especially if we're all non-human. I was saying obsessed with poo as well. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, like maybe Robin. has like, like, you know, like always has like a plastic dog poo on the board. Like a little. <laughs> yeah. Like, or a whoopee like, cushion. Yeah. Just a grab bag cushions. of fart jokes. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you like, were playing like a magic slingshot, user, it would be quite interesting crossbow. to do that kind of. Magic, uh, learning how to learning to manifest magic as, as kind of like a puberty um, crossover oh, kind of thing. Yeah, like it starts oh to God. come out in interesting ways. And then at one point, my expect, voice breaks. Then, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> G'day, it's I could turn I could turn thirteen during totally. the campaign. Hopefully, yeah. the campaign's not too long. Start to have urges. My first boner. <laughs> oh. Totally. Wow, thirteen. <laughs> God, luck, really? Luckily, we're, we arrived at the Boda Bunker, so it's uh, <laughs> appropriate time. <laughs> um, that's all I've got. I, I also kind of see I've only been playing humans in D&D, but I don't mind that at all. No. Um, I think that's fine. Um, mm. I think that's fine. Someone's got to. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And if it is like just human, human, if you've got robot, cricket. Yeah. Um, I'm, again, I'm like, I'm a little boy. <laughs> it's just... It just tickles me. Um, hmm. But I don't have like whatever class that falls into either. But Rogue, I feel like be Fighter. Good. Um, or Rogue. Yeah, Fighter. Yeah. It depends. Yeah, it depends what Kevin's yeah. like, right? Yeah. I have could played. Find out. Like, Mo was a Rogue, and hmm. I guess I am like a little bit. I get that, that like a Rogue is a very good asset. What? For a, what if a they were just a self righteous little shit and they were a paladin? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, I, I don't really, maybe a paladin. I really don't, I'm not interested in not into it. any of the religious mm. okay. things. Mm. I just don't, it just leaves me completely cold. Yeah, you can have an ideology thing or like a, um, like could, a belief that you communism or yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a Maybe lot a, of different a keyboard warrior. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> could be a great troll. Yeah. Could be like an arcane oh fighter where you're a fighter but you've still got like some Ooh, magical abilities. Cool. And I feel like we thing. do need some magical abilities in here. Or if but it's yeah. a bit like a Peter, Don't worry, Peter I'm Pan a and the Lost Boys. So you're like a little boy in in um Neverland or whatever and you yeah. you've got all these sorceress powers or whatever. You mean Yeah, the- that's cool. Yeah, Peter, Peter Pan. Pan Neverland, not the um, other Neverland, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. The one you, with all the buggery? <laughs> the Kevin, back to Kevin McAllister. That's, yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, yeah, home that's alone, what I meant. Sorry. Right? Yeah, that's, that's, so you could oh. do like um, you could do like an artificer and have like all mechanical yeah. traps. Like little and, gadgets and tinkering. Yeah, like a little oh, man. That make a little yeah. thing that creepy crawls cool. forward, then yeah. blows up. Yeah, you can make little toys, little wind up things, <gasps> and just have him. Oh, like if you were an artificer, you could experiment on me. Yeah. You could like yeah. build little. Oh my god! To I me. mean, we all know like a little boy and his robot <laughs> is like a. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Oh, Ben could be the fucking Iron Giant. Yeah. yeah. Big, big Hero yeah. Six. Right? Oh yeah, yes. and you two could be a pair. 
Yeah, that'd you could do a pair cool. intro too. I don't know I've done this yeah, into that. It's into that. that. <laughs> I'm into it. That's it's kind good. of very cool. This is why I wanted to do this episode. Or we could just meet and sort of become friends along the way. You're Luke Skywalker well. and he's, he's Yeah, you, you notice go. something that's broken. You're like, oh, I don't mind. I'll just fix that. And then it's, <laughs> all of a sudden. What was that? I didn't hear. What are you laughing Luke at, Luke Skywalker and his C-3PO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lawrence, Lawrence Luke Skywalker and... And Ben C three PO, so good. Oh, Not R two D two. I thought R two D two and and Luke were the closest. No, 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 no. Doesn't fit. Okay. Except that, <laughs> except that R two D, except that C three PO talks like Arnie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, it uh, goes into the back. I am of it fluent in like, over five thousand languages. <laughs> The, but only but, one accent. But I got a bad accent. feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> but but, uh, do you know that surviving an asteroid field is exactly 300,762 to 1? <laughs> 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 now get in the poon pod. <laughs> 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 oh, this is going to be the greatest campaign that has ever <laughs> been. Uh, cool. A long um, time ago. So what did you say? What was that? An arcana. Uh, artificer. Yes. Artificer. Artificer. Oh, gotcha. I've, yep. I have one more question about Kevin. Has he come from like our real world, like Earth? Or is he just a is he a human boy from fantasy Faerun somewhere Faeruni type thing? Or do oh, you, have kind you of have, fun if if he was from our Melbourne? World. <laughs> yeah, I just get actually, this image that he's actually from like real real world proper. That's real kind world. of fun. Mm-hmm. That's a bit like um Anania esque. Hopefully yeah, they're religious. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You've been Metaphors playing <laughs> playing with your Fortnites and your Modern fidget spinners. And yeah, <laughs> does, does he think Roblox this is like a game and, and he is the main and... character? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But then I mean, it's great. Fidget in. spinners, like that's very artificer type stuff it as is. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always got yeah, two okay, fidget yeah. spinners on the go. That's his weapon. <laughs> artificer is cool. Is so artificer. Maybe he has that, got a little bit of a touch of the ADHD. You know, you better just mm, uh, yes, <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> The Ar- mm-hmm. Artificer is so they <laughs> We need to talk about Kevin. They're, yeah, they're a magical. <laughs> they're a magical class. Yeah. Um. But so I, I'm not in t- like so they they only can build things and they put essentially spells into that construction. Yeah, they can infuse items. I think they get some spells. Like a, just a normal selection of spells, but they also infuse things. They often use firearms. Um, mm. They can create little, uh, yeah. Uh, in the, I think like, the first things level. like the right tool for the job and stuff. So there's a bit of like touching into like being able to kind of rogue esque something out if needs be. Mm. Oh, that's which yeah. I think might that's actually be work out quite well. Yeah, they can make magic items too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they can. I learned like that in another d d podcast. You need yeah. to like have blacksmithing skills <laughs> or something like that. Be proficient in blacksmithing. Well, I think but you get Kevin, a lot of proficiency. Kevin, I think Kevin got real good at Minecraft and Kevin probably has all these all those skills already. Yeah. Yeah. I love the oh, idea that he's kind funny. of got he's got lots of little toys and like little figures and stuff. Mm. <laughs> Have you guys watched Squid Game? <laughs> <laughs> what? You just rip you... out different Fortnite dances all the time. Oh my god! <laughs> I already want to punch this kid. <laughs> <laughs> is it because they pwn- Is it because they beat you online? Then? <laughs> yes. Why? Shut up. See, the funny no. thing is, is that you guys know so I work much full- more about that than I do. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think- in which case, I quite like the idea that I would. That Kevin would make up his own stuff, like he was yeah. homeschooled. Yeah, uh, oh, and he wasn't allowed perfect. video games, so he had Good. to make his own fun. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, he can't. He can't be into video games. Yeah, he can't be into video games or anything because he wouldn't have the time to invest in all his inventing. 
Yeah, yeah. I really dig this kind of idea because I, I feel like there's a lot of like, you know, classic kind of 80s heartwarming moments that could mm, potentially yes. come out of like, a, you know, that whole young child, the wonder, the, the kind mm. of... Well, mm. it, it, you know, essentially what D and D is, where it's like kind of trying to find that enjoyment and that childhood wonder, not necessarily when you're a kid, but like later on in life. And yeah, let's gonna make some people cry. I'm into it. Yeah, sentimentality. Do you, do you like? Do you like the idea of it being set in, um, like the real real world, Lauren? Of for, uh, for your, Kevin for, coming from the real world. Kevin's home world. Yes. Yeah, okay. into that. Cool. Comes through the the wardrobe, <laughs> the Nintendo through the through the cum dungeon or whatever. It is. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, come on, mate! Step Jeez, up. Steady, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> uh, it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> dear, dear. Oh, that's news to me. Oh, Good to have you back, Danny. All yeah. right, uh, I'm done. Good to be Thank back. you very much. That's well, very uh, thanks fun. <laughs> thanks for your um, help. Greg, now I know you'd be. You can know, can I please play a little boy called Kevin, Jack? Please. Oh yes. Please, Daddy. Oh. Daddy, um, can I play? It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. I was very oh, tense no. to call him Daddy before, but he already gave <laughs> permission, so I didn't feel the need. <laughs> <laughs> Could have said thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. May I? Um, Daddy, can Lauren, I please. Uh, yes. You may. Say it was a family show. <laughs> thank you very much, <laughs> Daddy. Greg. Um. Okay, yeah, I, I've come with a uh, pretty rough idea too. Let me just bring up the character sheet. Um, <laughs> Humble brag. Fuck <laughs> you. Uh, I, it's always so, one, isn't there? Yeah, it's always one who did the homework. I, um, <laughs> I've, I'm going to play a Herringen, um wizard. So the Harringen are the rabbit cool. people from the. Uh, I um, thought they were so a fish beautiful. people. Um, from the the Witchlight campaign, they just come out, and um, I'm going to play a female Harringen Herring- wizard named uh, Dolene Delacroix. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of inspiration for the the Southern Belle. Um, mm. I'm thinking. Uh, that she is a a noble from her borough, so she's the the princess of her borough. New York accent, <laughs> yeah. from the borough, uh, the no. boroughs of New York, okay. five borough. the five borough. Yeah. Hey, I'm walking here. Uh, I'm from Queens. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm hopping here. here. Yeah. <laughs> who you who you call him, Big Ears? Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so Darlene, uh, a noble, um, she's a wizard, and I intend to take uh, the divination uh, school. So she has glimpses into the future, uh, and wow. uh, I I play a lot of pow uh, pow pew pew spellcasters uh, normally, um, but. What? Yeah, right. Um, when have you done that? Love to stack damage, uh, but this this time I'm thinking almost completely avoiding mm-hmm. that i think i might take like magic missile mm-hmm. and maybe one other mm-hmm. one other we're gonna watch maybe you five over, all after about five levels yeah. you'll have changed your mind <laughs> yeah. and you'll be evocation <laughs> all the way <laughs> no so she, so i can like see see into the future a bit it allows me to later on like um twist fate uh, a little bit and cool. um sort of feeds into that time that mixed up uh concept of time uh, and I, uh, her backstory, uh, noble princess, queen, uh, uh, destined to be queen of the borough, uh, is dedicated uh, to to her study and to learning to to become uh, a good uh, and noble queen. Um, mm-hmm. I obviously, chose noble princess because Jasmine it's Jack's style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's Jack's game. I knew I had to play uh, an upper class uh, noble. <laughs> so, um, but she she discovers a um, so she she does a lot of study and she discovers a, a broken timepiece in the royal library. Um, and when she picks it up, uh, she she 
sort of uh, is is enchanted by it and carries it with her and she starts to have uh, visions which she thinks are of the future. So uh, images of the burrow, like in, in the future, her being older the um, and in control and the burrow being destroyed. And so she becomes obsessed with finding a way to avoid this fate in the future. Um, mm. And the only way that the visions of the burrow being destroyed change is when she leaves the burrow with the timepiece. And so uh, she sets out into the world to discover more about time and the future and fate. Gee, that's pretty cool. good for something you just made up on the spot. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you... um. What's uh, have you thought about like where your character's from or like uh, anything about a backstory or anything? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't I haven't uh, decided where the burrow is, but I'm I'm actually mm. thinking in the in, ground. I reckon in, in the ground. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. under. Okay. Under the ground, Queen. specifically. Is, is it a bonk burrow or just a regular? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it's, no, no, he's sorry. A rabbit. He's, he's a rabbit. He's a rabbit. It's, so, not, a yeah, it it's not a bonk burrow. It's not a bonk burrow. It's a bonk burrow. It's a Boston burrow um, mm. for Boston. Oh, um, like Boston. A Boston burrow? <laughs> 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 it's from uh, Boston. Do you know what? I also kind of like the symmetry um, if – Dan plays a noble as well, but mm. a shit one. <laughs> and yeah, you're a good one. It's a little bit like Alan and Thandor all, all over again. <laughs> she's a it's she's kind super of funny st- how we come uh, up with similar <laughs> characters. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I think it'll really be great, weird. great play um, yeah. as well, Danny. Who's yeah, older? Uh, I I'm twenty. I've put yeah, down. but you're a rabbit, so you're like yeah, what? You must be ancient. Three. Mm, I don't know. I didn't look into the what a rabbit lifespan is. of. Um, I think that I think from my reading, it's just and the same. And thus, yeah. the competition begins. <laughs> so, so, how old? How old? Well, how? What are down. you thinking? Would Would your prince be older or younger? Um, Danny. Danny. Oh, me. Danny, um, I'm playing a prince. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah, true. Sorry. Uh, apologies. Um, a seventy-eight I year old I, prince. I was kind of thinking. <laughs> Prince Charles, yes. geriatric. <laughs> really thought I'd be king by now. <laughs> oh, that could. Oh, maybe that's great. See, originally, originally, I was kind of thinking like more sort of like yeah, that younger twenty six Prince Zuko yeah, having a, yeah, having to prove his worth to his his father, the king. But it An could be funny if he's prince. a really old, pathetic prince yes. that's even just been around. waiting, waiting his Is entire he the life to be the the heir, and just it never fucking happening, <laughs> and his life just has no purpose because it's going to go to his children anyway, and barely have any time for him. Oh, if there was only someone I could or work. Or his, bro- his of. brother took the throne. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is you've got the heir and the yeah. spare. You're the spare, so you're not yeah. actually. And it's like, do you hate your brother and do you want to actually mm, go back mm. or do we want to find him and actually take over because you think you would be the better king? Yeah. Mm. And most importantly, what's your room like in the cum castle? <laughs> <laughs> These are the questions. Oh, got to ask Okay. All right. Well, Sticky. I say it and it's like, whoa, Danny, jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's Neil different when it's a 78-year-old like, man and a 12-year-old boy, Dan, yeah. uh, oh. I think. Oh. Oh. I've, yeah, just got, I've got so many father and mother Kevin figures Spacey in this campaign is. and I really oh, feel like God. Kevin is just going to like glom on to like each one of you and uh, you can't in talk your about own the special fu- way. You can't talk about the fuck fortress when Kevin's around. <laughs> <laughs> is no, it he, difficult then no. to have a little boy? Is that no. is that hard? Are we sort of, is that like? No. No? no. Okay. No, Sorry. No, just fine. double checking. Yeah. No. Good, good to check. Um, but no, nah. <laughs> yeah, because we can age him up if we need to. If it feels bad, nah, it no, feels no, Kevin's right. good. Yeah, yeah, Kevin's, Kevin's good. Seventy-eight-year-old man yeah. named Kevin. <laughs> it'll, it, it'll it'll allow. Like I think that's what I like is when there's that kind of being able to play off of each other and how our own characters can influence one another. And when you've got a, a younger character that's playing that sort of almost like kind of squire-esque mm-hmm. sort mm-hmm. of archetype, 
even if that's not what the character is, that we, our characters, interpret them as that kind of archetype. Like mm, there's a lot nice. of things and, and themes and stuff that we can play around with. And you know what? Kevin is going to learn some shit. But, oh, but mm. get ready, boy. You know, we're in the wild. It happens. And we've all seen Big Mouth. We can, we can, it's appropriate. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It all makes sense. You know, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Going through changes. Yeah. <laughs> Great show. New season out now. Um, Just sorry. saying that. Greg, you yeah. didn't ask permission to say oh, I am. Can I? Daddy. Daddy. There's only room for one <laughs> noble in this party. No, I, I, I think that's great. I think that's good. So it should be should be fun, Greg. Yep. You can you can do that if you want. Thank you. Um, now, well done, everyone. We got through that component. So stay um, tuned. We'll release that next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think probably I've I'm I'm gonna do like a prologue thing for the. Well, actually, sorry. First of all, I'm gonna do like a a summary just quickly. So Ben's playing. Uh, like a like a a construct of some kind. Um, Danny's playing a, a a noble prince of some kind. Emil's playing a cricket. <laughs> I felt like there was some judgment in that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> move past for the sake of time. I heard that too. What tone is that? And Emil's uh, not going to be playing any D and D this year. He's going to have to do some batting and some bowling. <laughs> Emil will be playing a minion for this. Uh... <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do that to you, Emil. I wouldn't do that either. Uh, I I don't like him, minions either. Um, Lauren, you're playing a little boy called Kevin, and Greg, you're playing a rabbit. Hair. Um, yep. Hair. Uh, that sounds... Such multifaceted characters. Yeah. You've got a rabbit, a boy, <laughs> a prince, a, a cricket. A boy, and a, a boy in a man's body. Yeah. And... <laughs> um, a, a cricket and a ticket it's, machine. It's funny. <laughs> little, it's a funny yeah, little I was group, trying to remember what one of the ones that we were talking about. <laughs> um, a boom gate. <laughs> 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 this week on DPR, <laughs> the boom <laughs> gate gets stuck. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> can Kevin fix it in time? Well, well they do. The Carriages are <laughs> coming through without having to pay their fare. Maybe I'm a shape shifting machine. I can be all kinds of different machines, mm. Mm. like a mimic machine. Yeah, um, mm. that's you can be all kinds of arcade machines. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fair only. Now I'm time nah, crisis. I like too. it. I, I like you as a as a C three PO character, like esque archetype. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, to along with um Lauren's character, I reckon that would that's a very nice pairing. I think. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or so, th- there's a nice development there. I, I feel. But this looks like a Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket thing as well. Oh, like this. yeah. yeah. It's sick, right? Yeah, and anyway. of that, there's what well, there's there's uh, the Greg's character and my character of this world, Kevin, who's of our like Earth world, Dan's character, who's of kind of a Faerun type kind of mythical world, and Ben, not sure. Uh, I don't think they know. Yeah, ah, cool. I feel like I cool, like cool. the idea that they're not sure. Wasn't like, maybe well, maybe they maybe? yeah, or maybe they used to be something else. Maybe they were humanoid or uh, and a, a fae turned them into this. So the quest is I've got to figure out how to get back or I, I don't cool. know. Don't, don't Modrons live on a different plane? Plane, oh, man. plane of existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. I think they're like one of the kind of either limbo or... Mm. The, mm. Or no, like a mechanist. It it's like a... Mechanis. Uh, mechanis, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. There's a couple of different planes of... Um, and Do- Dolene's not necessarily from the Feywild. I was thinking she was just normal sort of Feyrun. Okay. Oh, that's um, good to know, actually, because uh, that's going to be easy to write. What's the difference? Uh, so there's, like, different, like, planes of existence in, in D&D and the Feywild. If, if I had to get 
Greg from out of the Feywild into the normal world and then back in. That's difficult. Difficult. And I'd have to know a lot about it, and yeah. I don't want to necessarily know heaps yeah. about. Oh, did I Feywild. say I was from the Feywild? I mean, I'm from Feyre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. I think that's that's probably good. I'm going to do like a a prologue thing, but I'm going to record that separately and put that at the end, um, so we can all go to sleep because it's when, late. Uh, how long? And, and that'll motivate everyone to listen to the episode. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm happy to stick around while you do it. If you want an audience, uh, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to wake up my partner. So we're gonna do it later. Okay, cool. good one. Yeah, right. very exciting. Yeah. So, um, it might be a little while till we actually release. Oh, sorry. This. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Play me out, Jack. <laughs> we're playing Shut up, you ben. off. <laughs> oh, ben just. Jack just Kanye and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> yeah. What were you gonna say, Ben? Nah, play me out, bitch. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Daddy. Thanks, daddy. daddy. It's Thanks, so daddy. daddy, daddy master. No, 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 the no. Play master. me out, daddy. Oh, yeah. Daddy Crosby. Ooh, daddy. daddy Crosby. Mm, play me daddy out. Crosby. Glad your name has an R in it, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Some time or other ago, the screeching cries of the Jabberwock could be heard from the mists beyond the castle. Anguish and pain might have been interpreted from those cries, but that would be folly. For the Jabberwock's cries, whether of anguish, hunger, love, or even hate, are a completely incomprehensible gurgled of clicks, snarls, celloed growls, and violin squeals. Truly an horrendous sound. The Jabberwock's beating wings launched it away from the cauldron. The cauldron glinted calmly, almost untouched, in the light of the full moon and the expanding, iridescent shockwave emanating forth from its happily bubbling depths. In the aftermath of the wave, trace amounts of that iridescence clung to the air, sticky like molasses, as figures all around the castle froze, every drop of water caught in a moat of misty moonlight, launched from the sprinkler system, Ace Pluttermaster 3003, if you must ask. Figures sitting at a table, their eyes locked upon the playing cards, glee for the last day of the week in their eyes, their last round never to be played, eight prisoners awaiting sentence in the keep, their thoughts, regrets, and exclamations of injustice caught mid-breath. The wine poured for an expectant diplomat ever yet to meet its chalice, frozen in time. As the Jabberwock wingbeats faded off into the mists, the cackles and cries of triumph could be heard by only a few. Who? by luck or by fate, were spared this most ceasing of states. And if you had been there, and you weren't, on that fateful night, in the darkness that fell upon the room where the deed had been done, the faintest of glows could be seen by the corner of your eye, as if by looking for it, it escaped your looking. Had you seen it, though, the unmistakable glow of a unicorn's horn was whisked away as the cackles died in the stillness of the night. Just outside the castle's bounds, the wave did break. 
Aurora like rifts sprung up from the mud and the dirt, 8,883 meters into the sky, splitting the lands of Fay in three, coalescing in deep, writhing, billowing, iridescent white walls of mist, impenetrable. Piercing through the mists, the crazed Jabberwock passed across the moon, and those mists, when viewed from a very specific angle and properly squinted at, formed letters, letters that read, DPR does the wild beyond the witch light. And so, as it often does, in and out of the Fey Wild, time began to pass again. Well, mostly. <laughs>